So I want to show you some shortcuts using the crop tool as well as being able to straighten objects. If you have previous versions of Photoshop, I'm in CS5, you can still do this stuff except for one thing and I'll mention that as we go. Come over to the crop tool over here. Click on the crop tool. I'm sure a lot of you have used this. Up in the control panel, we can set the width and height, which is really cool, and the resolution if you're trying to crop, let's say, I don't know, web images or something like that. If I click and drag, of course, I can set my crop area. Go out here, we have a grid overlay. Now in CS5, we actually get this broken up into pieces if we want to. I want to show you a few little things that are really pretty cool about the crop. You notice up here, you're going to see cropped area. We have delete and hide. Now this has been in here a while, but I don't know how many people actually use it. Delete literally deletes the stuff. If I choose hide and I crop, and we can crop by pressing enter or return. If we use the move tool, we can actually move this around and still see that the area is out there. It's, it's just hidden, basically. Okay, so if I, let me undo here a couple steps. I'll go up to edit, step backward. So that's the ability to, instead of um, actually cropping it, you're hiding it. Now let me go back to the crop. I'll click and drag here. One of the things that I run across a lot is, let's suppose I'm trying to crop close to the edge of the image itself. If you click and drag down, you'll notice that as you come to the edge, it starts to snap, right? Kind of down at the edge down here. If you want to get close to the edge but not snap it, you can hold down the control key. And you can get as close as you want. Let go of the mouse, the control key, and it won't snap. Now, another thing we can do is actually put this thing into perspective, which is pretty cool. Now, right now, we actually have this uh, as a grid. You can see right up here, we can say crop grid overlay. And we could say none, rule of thirds, or grid. And if I choose none out there, you can see it's just the regular old crop area. We have shield and, and opacity right here. Now, if I come over here and I delete, choose delete in the cropped area, we can set what's called perspective. Now, if I turn perspective on, this allows you to crop and bring it into perspective. So what I'm going to wind up doing here is I'm going I'm to crop, but I'm going to make sure that these kind of follow the edges here. We can in, move these independently if we want to. And there are some keyboard commands for this if we want to. I want to get these nice and close and make sure that they're pretty much parallel with the edges here. You want to get as close as you can. Once you press enter or return, watch what happens. Now, you got to be careful because it may distort some of the content in here. If you've got a building out of perspective or something like that, this may not be the best method for you. Okay. All right, let me undo that. Now, another couple things we can do here. I want to straighten this photo. Now, there's a lot of ways to do that. We can rotate it. We can do all sorts of things, but a new way in Photoshop CS5. If I come over to my tools panel over here, you can see that we got the eyedropper. We have the ruler tool. Now the ruler tool is something that's been in here in a while, for a while. But what's cool about CS5 is if I click and drag and get this to go so it's basically parallel with the edge here, we now have a button up in the control panel called straighten. Watch what happens. If I click straighten. It's going to go through and basically just straighten the photo itself. Now you're going to see it's not going to do anything to the perspective of the photo or anything like that. It's just going to go and straighten it for you. You can literally click and drag in any, you don't have to follow the, you know, any edge or anything like that and click straighten and it will put it in the actual, uh, you know, rotate it for you in the direction you said to do. So let me undo that. So I just wanted to show you a few quick little shortcuts you guys could pull with the crop tool as well as working with the ruler tool in CS5.